push it forward like you're reaching out for something. I like to have my arm out like this, just like Moana Wayfinding. Welcome everyone to Disney Princess Yoga. I'm Caitlin and one of my favorite things to do is get moving princess style. Are you guys ready to join me for an awesome Disney Princess Yoga session? I know Rapunzel and Moana are. Right gals? Okay then, let's get started. Now before we start, we are going to have to do some stretches to get the body all loosened up getting ready for our yoga movements. For our first stretch, we are going to be doing arm swings. For arm swings, our position's gonna be our feet shoulder width apart. Then we're gonna bring our arm up to our shoulder, then pull it up to the sky and push it all the way back. We're gonna be doing this for 20 seconds on each side. Are you ready to go? Okay, here we go. Make sure you're making big circles with your arms, big, big circles, reaching upwards and pushing back. Good job, guys, you're doing awesome. Five seconds count with me. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, we're done with the left side. Are you ready for the right side? Yeah, okay, and timer starts now. Making sure you're slowly moving your arm, really getting all those muscles ready. You're doing great, guys. You wanna make sure you're nice and loose for doing yoga. Five, four, three, two, and one. We are done with arm swings. Whew, now that our shoulders are all ready, we are going to be doing toe touches. For this stretch, we are going to be keeping our legs a little bit further than shoulder width apart. Pushing our arms out to this side, reaching, reaching, and then reaching all the way down and grabbing your foot. You can go to whatever length you'd like and whatever makes you feel comfortable. We're gonna be doing this three times on each leg. Are you ready to get some more stretching in? So we're gonna stretch our arms out, then reach, 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 reach all the way down to the left leg. We're gonna stay here for a little bit, making sure you really feel the stretch in the back of your leg. And then rolling all the way back up. Rolling, 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 and head. Then for the next side, we're gonna stretch our arms out, and then go all the way down. All the way down, reaching to the right side, trying to grab your leg, trying to feel that stretch. And then now reaching back up to the sky. For our left leg again. Stretching out to the side and going all the way down to the left side, grabbing your ankle and pulling yourself in. Then roll back up to the right side. Stretching our arms, we're almost there guys. Pulling all the way down to the right leg and then pulling yourself in. You really wanna make sure you're going down more and more each time to get more of that stretch. Then pulling yourself back up and up. Last time, guys, on each side. Reaching our arms to the side and then going all the way down to the left. Then pulling ourselves in. Then we're gonna reach back up, 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 and to the right. Stretching out, then going all the way down and then pulling ourselves into the leg, pulling ourselves, pulling, 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 and then reaching up to the sky. And you're all done with those toe touches. Now that our legs are all stretched out, we are going to be doing side reaches to get these parts of our bodies all ready for moving. Okay, so our feet are going to be a little bit past shoulder length, a little bit past, just like the toe touches. Then we're gonna reach our arms to the side, reach, 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 reaching for both sides. And then leaning to the right, and then coming up, 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 up to the sky, and then stretching over to the left side. We're gonna stay here for a little bit, then reach all the way back up and leave your arm down. For this movement, we're gonna do it each side two times. Are you ready to do some side reaches? Yeah, yeah, here we go. Okay, so reaching our arms out to the side, then reaching to the right side, then pulling up, 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 
and on to the left side. We're gonna stay here for a little bit, making sure you really feel that stretch in here, really feel the stretch. And then pulling up, 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 arm to the sky, reaching to the sky and pulling it down. Now on to the next side. We're gonna pull our arms out to the side, reach to the left, then go up, 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 and on to the right side. Ooh, you really wanna make sure you feel that stretch right in there. You guys are doing a great job, keep going. And now stretch back up, reaching to the sky, dropping our arm. Next side, going all the way out. This is your last time on the right side. Then stretching to the right, then bringing our arm up and all the way to the left side. Stretching, staying here, reaching up, reaching up to the sky and putting it down. Now our last time you got this, guys, make it your best. Reaching out both arms. And then reaching to the left, bringing our arm up and all the way to the right side. Really feel the stretch. Then reach back up, up to the sky and down. Okay, now we have our shoulders stretched, our sides stretched, and now this is the last of the legs. Here we go, we're gonna do a leg stretch where we take our foot, our ankle, into our hand and pull it into our bodies. Now this stretch, you can always modify it by pulling up a chair or whatever you can to balance yourself. Ooh, I'm wobbling a little bit too. And then we'll release. Now we're doing this for 20 seconds on each side. And timer starts now. Bringing our foot to our hand, balancing ourselves out and pulling it into our bodies. You wanna really feel that stretch right in here, all here. You got this, you're almost there. Five seconds, guys. Five, four, ooh, wobbling. Three, two, and one. Now slowly release that leg and put your arms down. Okay, now for the right side. We're gonna put our ankle in our hand, grab it, and then pull it into our bodies. Pull, pull, pull. Really feeling that stretch, really getting ready to move. And remember, if you ever need to hold on to something for balance, you can always pull up a chair or go to a couch or a table or anything you have. Okay, five, four, three, two, and one. Now slowly release that leg. And we're all finished with those stretches. Are you ready to get into some yoga moves? I am too. Okay, let's get started. So for our first yoga movement, we're gonna be doing the sunrise salutation. This movement kind of reminds me of Moana when she wakes up to the nice ocean breeze and the sunrise. Okay, so for this movement, we're gonna reach both of our hands up to the sky, reaching, reaching, reaching. Then we're gonna pull ourselves down, chin to chest. We're gonna pull ourselves down, letting our arms fall too. Then rolling all the way down, trying to touch your toes. You can stay here if you'd like, whatever makes you feel comfortable. Going all down, 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 stretching. And then we're gonna put our legs back, walking it back into a push-up position. Then we're gonna stay here for three seconds. Then we're gonna put our legs back underneath ourselves to roll back up. And then bringing ourselves back up, 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 shoulders and then head. All right, we're gonna do two more of those. Are you ready? Okay, reaching our arms to the sky, stretching, stretching, and then pulling our chin to the chest, letting the arms drop down. Go far as you can, and then try to touch your mat, try to touch your mat, and then go down into a push-up position. Stay there for three seconds. Then coming back up, slowly, slowly rolling. Shoulders and up. Now it's our last one, guys. Make this your best. Roll up, 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 up to the ceiling. Rolling down, chin to chest. Hands on the mat. Pushing back into the push-up position. Staying there. You got this, guys, you're almost there. And now a very slow roll up. Slow, 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 feeling every vertebrae. Shoulders and then head. Whew, all right. 
That one made me sweat. And now for our next pose, we are gonna be doing the tree pose. This pose kinda reminds me of Rapunzel's tower. Strong and tall. Okay, so for this pose, we're gonna bring our leg up through our shin, grab it with your hand, and then push it up against your thigh. Woo, this one's a balancing one too. So if you need to grab a chair or any sturdy surface, you can. Okay, and we're gonna be holding this position for 10 seconds on each side. Woo, I'm losing my balance a little bit too. Okay, are you guys ready? 10 seconds, we got this, and now. You got this, really stay sturdy, make sure your leg isn't collapsing. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now slowly take your ankle and then release the leg down. Okay, now for the right side. We're going to pull up our ankle through our shin and then go right above the knee to the thigh. Woo! And make sure you're balanced. You can always grab something. So now we're gonna stay in this pose for 10 seconds. Are you ready? Here we go. Okay guys, you always wanna make sure you're breathing and letting the air in and letting the air out. Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo, getting a little bit wobbly. Okay, we're gonna grab our leg and push it back down. And we're all done with the tree pose. How are your legs feeling? Make sure you give them a little massage and make sure they're feeling all right. If you need to take a break, you always can. Okay, so now we're going into the warrior two pose. This pose kind of reminds me of like Mulan when she's training to become a warrior. So I'm gonna take my left leg and we're gonna face that forward like this. And then we are going to do this right leg facing that direction. Then we're gonna bend this right leg and then put our arms out like this. We're gonna hold that pose for 10 seconds on each side. All right, are you guys ready? And go! Remember, you're training like Mulan. You're making sure you're really sturdy and straight. Okay, now a three and a two and one. Slowly making yourself up. And now we're gonna switch to the left side. So we're gonna put the left foot facing towards that way. And then we're gonna put this right foot facing forward. Okay, and timer starts. We're going down, making sure we're very stiff and sturdy, just like Mulan. And coming back up. All right, how was that for you guys? That was a lot of strain on your knees, so make sure you're stretching if you need. Just remember, if you don't feel comfortable doing a movement or you can't do the movement, then you can always skip it or you can find ways to modify it. For our next yoga pose, we are going to do the cat and cow stretch. For this one, we're gonna get down on our hands and knees. And just a reminder, make sure you have a soft surface, just like a mat or grass or carpet. Okay, so for this pose, we are going to go down our knees, put our hands in front of us, right below the shoulders, and then the knees right below the hips. Then we're going to stretch our back, reaching our back up to the sky, pushing all the way up as far as you can, and then arch your back and try to pull your stomach all the way to the floor and your head all the way to the ceiling or the sky. Then we're going to pull up again and then go back down. We're gonna do this movement five times. And you know what? This movement kind of reminds me of Pascal and his arched back. You're gonna become a Pascal today. Here we go. So make sure your hands are right underneath your shoulders and your knees are right underneath your hips. Arch your back all the way up to the ceiling and then push your stomach all the way down to the floor, putting your head up to the sky. Then arching your back once again, making sure you really feel that stretch. You're pulling, pulling, pulling. Then really arch your back and make sure you stretch all of those kinks out. Then up and then down, making sure you're really relaxing your body. Two more, you got this. Up, 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 arch your back, just like Pascal. Then go all the way down, pushing your stomach to the floor and your head to the ceiling. One last one, make it your best. 
pull your back all the way up to the ceiling and then push it all the way back down, pulling your head to the sky. And you're all done with the cat and cow movement. Now you can stop being Pascal for the day. For our next pose, we're gonna be doing the tabletop pose. For this position, we're gonna be just like the cat and cow, where the hand is underneath the shoulders and the knees are underneath your hips. You're gonna extend whichever leg you'd like. I'm choosing my right leg. You're gonna extend it all the way to that side, making sure it's as straight as possible and it's also in line with your hips. And this pose really requires a lot of balancing. So if it's too hard for you, you can always modify by putting your leg down or your arm down. Then we're gonna extend our opposite arm. This is my left arm. And push it forward like you're reaching out for something. For this pose, I like to have my arm out like this, just like Moana wayfinding. Are you ready to do this? We're gonna hold this pose for 10 seconds. You could do it. Okay, let's set up hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips, and then extend your leg, trying to make it as straight as possible. Then extending the left arm and with the wayfinding hand. This is really hard pose. So if you need to put your hand down or put your leg down, that is totally okay. Okay, now we're gonna release our leg down slowly in our arm and we're gonna do the other side. Are you ready to do this for another 10 seconds? Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna put my left leg up and then extend my right arm with the wayfinder hand. We're gonna stay here for 10 seconds, you got this. Three, two, and one. Slowly release your arm and your leg. And whew, now that's relaxing getting out of that balancing pose. And for our next movement, we're gonna do the downward facing dog pose. This pose also is kind of like a stretch. So we're gonna put our hands forward, a little bit past our shoulders, and then walk our legs back all the way, and then spread them out. You could be a little wider than the mat or closer if you'd like. If you want a little more of a challenge, you can go feet together. And if you want a little bit easier just to modify, then you can spread your legs out. I'm gonna keep my legs right near my mat. So for this move, you're gonna push yourself back right into your heels and make sure your heels touch the ground or if you can, whatever makes you feel comfortable. You're gonna push back and your goal is to have your back straight. This pose is even hard for me. All right, we're gonna do this for 20 more seconds. Are you ready to be Pua? All right. So stretch, pull all the way back into your heels, push from your hands. All right, you got this, you keep going. You should be feeling the stretch right around here on both sides. Okay, five more seconds, count with me. Five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly release yourself from that pose and take a little breather. Okay, for our last yoga movement, we're gonna go back into our sunrise salutation. Do you guys remember that? Okay, so we're first gonna stand up, put our arms to the sky, roll down, touch your toes, and then go back into a push-up position. Stay there for three seconds. Put your feet back under you and roll back up. Are you ready to do this one last time? Okay, here we go. So reaching our arms all the way up to the sky, rolling all the way down, chin to chest, touching our toes and the floor. If you can, going back into our push-up position, holding it, going back under ourselves and pulling ourselves back up slowly, slowly, slowly. Shoulders down and head up. Wow, you guys finished that yoga session. Congratulations. You guys did amazing. What about you, princesses? How are you feeling? Yes, me too, so relaxed. I'm glad you had a great time. Okay, now moving on to our cool down. 
So we are going to just take some deep breaths in and out just to calm the body down. And in through the nose. And out through the mouth. Another one in through the nose. And out through the mouth. And last one, guys. In through the nose. And out through the mouth. Wow, congratulations, guys. You finished the yoga session and the cool down. I'm so proud of you. Thank you so much for joining me for my Disney Princess yoga session. Hope to see you next time, and I'm sure you'll do even better.